Years ago, when Nirmala and I lived in India, we would occasionally get notifications from the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi. We lived not terribly far from there. And inevitably, there was updates, news about um, concerning developments in India, sort of hot spots that people should avoid, that type of thing. And I remember language that was inevitably part of those communications. Because always there were suggestions, you know, the top was the news and then at the bottom were the recommendations. Basically the recommendations could be summed up as don't go into places where there's a problem. <laughs> and always there was language that used this, these words, maintain situational awareness. And until that time, I had never heard that particular phrase. Of course, it's a terrific phrase, and it, you know, it's a, it's a lot more important uh, than just in India when you're a foreigner. It applies to anyone, anywhere, maintain situational awareness. So I'll give you an example from my own life and, and a kind of a uh, reference to these videos because I do the sound checks for Nirmala when she records videos. So I watch to make sure that the sound is appropriate and you know the levels are correct and, and check the camera, etc. However, I do have to do them for myself. She does not do them for me. And I have not always maintained situational awareness. And a couple or several times I've recorded videos. In some cases, I thought pretty darn good videos. And they came out with no sound, which means that the microphone wasn't on, the microphone wasn't plugged in, the cable wasn't connected, something got turned off, I, you know, and there, any one of 25 different things could mess up the sound. But when there's no sound at all, it means that something did not connect. And I don't know if you have ever been in a situation, and so, you know, here's this video with, with a moving mouth talking and gesturing and expressions and so forth, communicating something, hopefully very meaningful, but no sound. And you can't really post a video with no sound. I mean, we, we're we not mimes, we're not trying to do uh, talk, you know, uh, silent movies, because you have to do a lot of action and we're not set up to do all that kind of thing, filming here ourselves. But that little process, it does not take long to do a sound check. Seconds, 30 seconds, a minute maximum. And yet, without that sound check, everything that comes after it, I wouldn't say that it's entirely wasted, but it certainly is not entirely effective either. So, that simple little phrase, maintain situational awareness, it means see around you, see the broader picture. Because it's very easy in our effort to be focused, and it's a good thing to be focused. Focus on the goal, focus on the, the process, focus on the, you know, the lesson involved, the steps involved. But focus on the bigger picture also at the same time. And that does not always come naturally. I, I say this from hard personal experience. So I will leave you just with that simple phrase, but I invite you to meditate on it. What does it mean in my life to maintain situational awareness? You know, in the case of the U.S. Embassy in Delhi, they're just telling people, look, don't go into situations where there can be a problem. Or if you're in crowded places, you know, they say avoid crowded places. Well, good luck, you know, because you can't avoid. I mean, it's like you, if you're going to live in India, you're going to be in some crowded places. It's just life. And 
you know, people can live to a hundred years and never experience a disaster in a crowded place because they just learn to move through that in life. So it's entirely possible to do so safely, but it is relevant to maintain situational awareness and to be aware of all of what's going on around us. Because if we tunnel in, you know, if you're, if you're texting, if you're looking at your phone, walking on a sidewalk, you can fall into a hole in India or, or anywhere, really. I mean, you, you know, you receive videos or you hear stories of people who walk into a telephone pole or, you know, fall off the cliff, walk into the river, whatever. And it can happen. But it doesn't have to be a disaster if we just broaden and widen and develop that peripheral awareness. Kind of our feelers, get our feelers out as to what's happening around us and remember what's happening inside of us as well. But that simple phrase is well worth meditating on and tuning into a bit in life because it can help us to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish far more effectively. Namaste.